Okay guys, so the first meal we're going to be doing today is split pea soup. It's one of my favorite soups because it's really filling and it's made from all whole foods and it's so simple to make. So all we're gonna do is I have a pound of yellow potatoes that I chopped up into these little cubes and we're just gonna add this in here. You can use yellow potatoes, red potatoes, russet potatoes, um, whatever kind of potato you like. And then I have two medium carrots that I chopped up as well. You don't need to chop everything up super fine or anything because we are going to be lightly blending this at the end. And then I also have half of a large white onion. I have four stalks of celery that I chopped. And then we are going to add into here a cup of split peas. We will need four cups of water, so this is two cups, four cups. And then we're just gonna add some seasoning. So I have some Italian seasoning, I have garlic powder, and then I also have Better Than Bouillon. I actually stopped using Better Than Bouillon for a while, um, and I was just adding salt to taste to my foods, and I just really like the flavor of it. I feel like it, brings out the flavor of everything else and i like that it's concentrated so i don't have to like open a can or a carton of veg stock and then you know have it sitting around and need to use it up before it goes bad so we're going to add in a teaspoon of garlic powder and then we also have two tablespoons of italian seasoning So this recipe is really great because you can really just kind of throw random stuff in here like if I have a ton of zucchinis or like kale that I need to use up I'll throw it in here if you have spinach or like if you want to use different root vegetables you can always throw in like parsnips or sweet potatoes it's a really really good filling soup since I am cooking this in my instant pot I'm gonna cook this for an hour I actually like to cook it that long because it makes the peas like super soft. And then if you're cooking this on the stove top, I would just bring it up to a boil, reduce the heat to a simmer, cover it and cook it for about an hour until the peas are soft. And I'll show you guys what we're gonna do after this. What we do is take our immersion blender and just blend this up. So I like to blend about half of it because I like to keep it a little bit chunky. And that is basically it, you guys. So I love this soup. Like I said, it is so filling. I eat it on its own, but you could eat it with like some Ezekiel toast or something like that. It is just super filling and satisfying and delicious. All right, guys, so for this dinner recipe, we're going to make some red curry Thai noodles. And I'm gonna show you guys a little hack. So I have this whole packet of Thai noodles. They're just um, fettuccine rice noodles and what i like to do is i'll actually cook this entire pack of noodles which is probably like it's 16 ounces of noodles so it's about what is that i don't even know it's like 3,000 calories um so it will make quite a few dinners and what i'm gonna do is just boil this entire packet and then i'll show you guys how to store these in the fridge so that you don't have to boil noodles every time that you want to have them All right, so once your noodles are done, you basically just wanna rinse them in cold water, and then you can put them in a bowl and cover them with water like this and keep them in the fridge. So this is what I do. So whenever I want noodles, I'll just take out my strainer and strain out like a big handful and then toss them into whatever dish I'm making. So now we're gonna make the sauce for this. I make it really simple, but you guys can adjust this based on your taste preferences. So the first thing we're going to start with is just like maybe a tablespoon of this Thai curry paste. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of this coconut balsamic. I just got a bunch of these balsamics from this company and this one is so good. They're actually all so good. Um, I don't have a discount code for them, but Kiki does, so I'll leave a link below and her discount code. But this coconut one just kind of gives everything a coconut flavor, like if you don't want 
the fat from coconut oil or coconut milk you can use this like balsamic and it's so good so like a tablespoon of coconut aminos and then i'm going to add in a tablespoon of maple syrup we're having like an ant infestation right now um so if you guys see ants running around that's why so i'm just going to mix this all together and you could add like other things to this if you want i just like to keep it super simple and then all we need to do now is saute some veggies so here i have bok choy i have some zucchini broccoli mushrooms chopped carrots and onion and i'm just going to put this into a pan and i'm just going to add in a little bit of coconut aminos to get this cooking and then i always like to just kind of toss it in the coconut aminos and i don't add a lot of water because as we cook it the vegetables are going to release their water and to get like a really good flavor going you want to cover this for about five minutes and let it just steam and release all the water and then we're going to take the lid off and cook it on a higher temperature and let all the excess water burn off and that's how you get like a really good flavor from your veggies without them being like super soggy this probiotic sriracha on top or like I'll just use normal sriracha sometimes I do both it's probably what I'm gonna do today but yeah super simple and you can even prep like the vegetables and just throw this all together I mean you could just leave it in the fridge like this and then just eat it cold I really like cold pasta so this is a very delicious simple dinner that you guys can make for your friends and family all right guys so for this last dinner we are going to make garlic mashed potatoes just ignore my nails i feel like they've been progressively getting worse throughout this video um so i have a pound of red potatoes here that i just chopped into small cubes and we're just going to put these in a steamer so you can either do this on the stove top and just bring everything to a boil and then let it steam um, but i put them in my instant pot for 10 minutes and the reason that i like to steam them instead of boil them is because when I boil them they just get really like watery and I like to have them more dry so that when I add soy milk to it it gets really creamy so we're gonna cook these for 10 minutes and then while the potatoes are steaming I'm just going to cook up some veggies so I have a bunch of mushrooms some onion and zucchini and I'm just going to cook that in a little bit of tamari I like to add a little bit of tamari or soy sauce just for flavor and then I also add in a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And some garlic powder. So you can just mix that together and then I'll cover this and let all of the veggies release their water and then cook it off. And then I'm going to add in a bunch of spinach. I like a ton of spinach. This will basically cook down to absolutely nothing, so. All right guys, so now that the potatoes are done, I just like to take out the steamer tray, dump out the water that was in the Instant Pot to steam them, and then just dump them back in here. And then what we're going to add into here is a splash of this soy milk. You wanna make sure that you get unsweetened soy milk. Just helps it be really creamy. That was like more than a splash. We got some garlic powder. I just like to put, you know, like maybe a teaspoon in. And then I really like to put a little bit of fresh lemon in here as well. I'm just going to mash this up. And when you use your potatoes, like you can use any kind that you like. I like to use red potatoes because I feel like they're really creamy and I like to keep the skins on them as well. So I just wash them really well. All right, so then we're just going to add this to our veggies. 
and I didn't add any salt in here because I like to just add it on top and put a tiny bit of salt on top of here I always always like to eat my mashed potatoes with sauerkraut so I'm gonna add some of this as well yeah that's pretty much it you guys like a very simple delicious very filling meal I mean this is like pounds of food